What's up you guys, welcome back. I'm Mr. M and today we're gonna to be talking about the element of shape. So let's get right into it. So you might have some idea about the element of shape already, but we're gonna talk about some specific definitions and some categories that we all need to know. So shape is defined as a flat two-dimensional area outlined by a line. Or to think of it another way, it's just a closed line. So a line that meets itself then makes a shape. The main difference between a shape and a form, like a cube or a sphere, is the third dimension. So I always use the example of Mario. So if any of you are old enough to remember, or cool enough to remember, the original Mario only went left to right, he jumped up and down, you, know, you jump on the turtles' heads to knock them off and, and send them on their way. But Mario can't sidestep all that stuff, he can't just walk around the pipes, he's gotta jump over them and, and crouch down into them, right? Like, he lives in a two-dimensional world. He goes left to right and he can jump up and down and that's about it. That's because he's a shape. There's, there's no third dimension in that universe. There's only two dimensions, left and right and up and down. So until we add that third dimension of depth, that Z axis for all you math nerds, until we have that, we only have two dimensions. We have the X axis going left and right and the Y axis going up and down, which is what makes it a shape. So again, shapes are two dimensional. They have no depth at all. Now there's three types of shapes that we need to define. Geometric, organic, and modified. So geometric shapes are probably the ones you already know about. We've got triangle, circle, square, rectangle, octagon, so on and so forth. They have names. Geometric shapes are shapes with rectilinear and curvilinear lines. What that basically means is that they have perfect curves and perfect straight lines. In particular, geometric shapes are man-made, they're easily measurable, they're rigid, they almost always have names, and they don't often occur in nature. So anything with a straight line or a 90 degree angle or a perfect curve is gonna be a geometric shape. Organic shapes, however, are shapes that have natural flowing edges. So think of them like the opposite of geometric shapes. They're not named, they're naturally occurring, we find them in nature. It's really difficult to measure the surface area of an organic shape just because the boundaries of that surface are so irregular. Organic shapes are most often found in nature, hence the name. Think clouds, leaves, stones, feathers, that kind of a thing. Now modified shapes, however, are shapes that have both organic and geometric qualities. So part of a modified shape might have a 90 degree angle, but the rest of it might also be really flowing and organic looking. So you have both parts, you have organic and geometric parts together. That's a modified shape. Modified shapes don't have names either, and they're also hard to measure and we find them in nature. So they share a lot more in common with organic shapes rather than geometric shapes. But the similarities really differ based on the individual shapes. So with the rest of our week, what we're gonna be doing is a project called the Good Shape. And I'll explain that in the next video. But all you need to know is that we're gonna be exercising our creativity using shapes. All right guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.